Blush Up and Brush Up by ATLB. All things luxury beauty, the place where you brush up on all your beauty news while you blush up or get ready for the day. I'm Jennifer from Just Glow Firefly. And I'm Lexi from Lexi John. And today is Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, we do ATLB. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a we have a new quote today. And our quote is, is taking us to back to our skincare because skincare is so important, right? Which is so, why we are both fresh faced today. Yes, fresh face. I don't even have glasses on. Like, who am I? <laughs> wearing these, wearing my glasses because you know what? Skincare is in. And our quote today, our quote today is sleep, skincare. Smile. <laughs> Sleep is so important. <laughs> it is. It is. And that's by Jamie Carson. So sleep, skincare, smile, repeat. Great motto to live by. But let's tell them, Lexi, about our product of the day. Sure. It is a fantastic product. I actually... I love, have loved this product for several years now. It's the Sisley Black Rose Skin Infusion Cream. Mm. This is like a lightweight gel-based moisturizer, and you just need a little bit. So uh, the full size does come in a jar, and the sample size is what Jen is applying right now. And it has a rose scent, a light texture, but, you know, you put it on, and it feels so light and lightweight on the skin that you might think that's not going to give you much moisture. And then it really does. So yeah. I think it's a really incredible product. It's so nice, especially for the summer. I just finished my big, big j jar of it. And then I had this little sample and I'm like, Oh, we got to talk about that today. <laughs> yes. I love using it during the summer, any of those warmer months, you know, even when we're starting to get into fall, it's fantastic. During the yeah. winter, it's great to layer with, you know, another product like the uh, Black Rose Oil or yes. a heavier moisturizer. Love it. Me too. I just, I really, really like the texture and it just sinks right in. So Jen, we've had a few new releases that came out. I saw that uh, we've got Rose Ink, a whole new brand. You want to tell us a little bit about that today? Yes. Yeah, so... Rosie Huntington Whitley has come out with a brand new brand called Rose Ink, and she's coming out with just a few different products first. It's not available to everyone right now, but if you did sign up for her early access, it is available to those who signed up. So it looks like there's some brow products. There's a concealer. There's also a, it looks like a cream blush and then a few tools as well. And then some lip products. So we'll see um, maybe a few more here and there, but those are the main ones that I was looking at. And I'm kind of interested. She has like a couple like skincare items or something. I remember seeing a toner. I don't remember if there was anything else, but I know she had a skincare toner in there too, which, you know, yeah, I guess she's going to be doing skincare and makeup. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. I have to look at it a little bit more because I do want to try it. I do want to try it. Same here. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks like it's coming to Sephora soon, the 27th. Right. Very soon. So by the end of the week, we should be able to see it there. So it looks like Merit has also come out with some new tinted lip oils. I have to say, I really like the formula and the one that I have. What do you think of this new set, Jen? There, there's some brownie shades in there. So I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of tempted. They have a box set and they're also selling them individually, right? Right. Now the box set's exclusive to their website, but I think it's actually kind of a good deal. It's $75. And you, I think there's like five new shades, maybe four new shades, four new shades. So, and they're pretty, they're all really pretty. So it may be a good option. I don't know. Yeah, that could be. And then we also have the lip sheets from the Chantecaille Fall Collection have dropped. 
So yes. we've got three repeat shades and two new shades in this, and they're all in limited edition packaging. One of my favorite shades, Honeysuckle, is one of the repromotes in this collection. I love that shade. Like, it just needs to be a permanent shade. <laughs> I haven't tried it, but I did order it, so I'm going to try it. Yeah, it's, it's my favorite. I'm excited. So we also have a whole bunch of sales and deals going on right now. Lancome's having their friends and family sale, so you can get 25 or 30% off. And what's going on at Cult Beauty, Jen? So Cult Beauty is having 20% off Dr. Dennis Gross. And that even includes, you know, those face LED light things. That yeah, those LED masks. Yes. Those are 20% off. And then they have these new kits and I hadn't seen them on the site before, but there's, there's these new hair edit kits. And so they have these kits available so you can try different products for a, insane savings. And I thought that was kind of cool. So I thought we'd throw them in here today and yeah, talk about them. So. Out for sure. Yeah. What about Bloomies? Bloomingdale's loyalists get $25 for every $125 spent. And then I think, you know, that's basically it for now. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing too, we, we do know that there's some sales coming starting like the 29th and things like that. So be on the lookout Friday. We'll be talking about the more of those then. Yes, and don't forget to pay attention to atlb.luxc, where we'll keep everything up to date. So coming soon, Lexi, this is insane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is insane. There are so many releases that are starting to be leaked right now. We have NARS. NARS has this palette. And Jen, you want to tell us about it? Yes. So this is a new palette that is a face and cheek palette. It's actually from NARS holiday. It looks like this is, this was leaked or whatnot. And uh, we're starting to see more and more of those, those holiday type releases that are coming, coming soon, you know, and then two, Charlotte Tilbury has a few items that we've seen so far, it looks like there's two new eye quads and it looks like it has, you know, those are those formulas with the stars in them. And those, that formula is supposed to be different and new and, uh, supposedly, supposedly really good. I have not personally tried it. Have you tried this formula? I like, haven't. I I'm curious about the formula, but I haven't tried it yet. None of the color stories have grabbed me enough to make a purchase yeah. yet. Yeah. So that's coming. And then there's another Charlotte Tilbury product. Let's see. What is this? Oh, this one. Oh, I forget what the palette is called, but it's one of her big long ones. And everybody was so excited to see the green shade here. I have to say when I did hear she was making a green palette, I was hoping we were going to have more green than just this, but it's a really nice palette. You've, it, it kind of gives me like a seventies vibe. Cause you've got those like rusty orange colors and the avocado greens. So it reminds me of like furniture and like kitchen appliances that you would see in the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have uh, two new candles from way in their scents. So that is an interesting type of release. I do kind of like the scent of way, but I'm curious about these candles, candles. Um, but I'm not that curious enough to like pick them up. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to smell them in the store. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what do you think about holiday clay de po? I have to say it looks very much like secret garden. Um, you know, you've got this little key symbol on there. You've got all the flowers. So it really just brings secret garden vibes to me, which I don't recall it being a very Christmassy theme in there. <laughs> in there so I'm not really sure how this plays in. Um, you know, I, I, I loved the holiday packaging from last year so mm -hmm. much so that I actually saved the boxes <laughs> that they came in. But this year, I don't really love this packaging. Um, 
Yeah, I don't like the packaging. <laughs> but you know, I'm very happy to see that there are two new cream blushes. I'm very interested in those. The other products I'm kind of hmm. unsure of. Well, I'm curious. Of, so this highlighter, you know, I did buy this sh- this highlighter in almond. I'm curious if this is the same one. Yeah, you know, we need to get more more details because the one I got last year was very similar to an an another one that they had. I can't remember what what it was, but it was slightly more blue. But uh-huh. you can't really tell. Like it, it was hard to tell hmm. until you actually get it. So yeah, isn't so, it interesting how see. like everything's so di- like I don't know. It's some of sometimes the same thing, but not the same thing. <laughs> right. So yeah, it's just very interesting for sure. There's some Christian Louis Vuitton. Okay. This is so interesting to me. It's like yellow, red, and blush color is coming on the 15th of September. It sees customizable glow cream lipstick. So their new formula, it's a new formula Mm -hmm. and there's 15 shades. I'm interested in the formula, but honestly, I don't like this package. But you can customize your own charms to create. A yeah, I personally design. don't care about charms on my lipstick. So for me, that's just you don't want a like... purse or a pair or some lips on your lipstick. Not for me, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I know other people would really like that. But yeah, what do you think? Um, no, I mean, I don't know what I would do with something like that. Quite frankly. I, I'd right. rather put the money in the actual makeup quality and not so much on the charms. <laughs> so. Ooh, go Lex. And Jen, tell me about this MAC palette because it's looking pretty nice. Oh my gosh, you think it's nice too? Because I'm like totally into this palette. <laughs> yeah, I think the embossing's really nice. And I, I really, the color story I think is really pretty. I know, right? Okay, so get this. This is the Tempting Fate collection. There are eight feast your eyes, <laughs> feast your eyes shades. And there are three new textures. So I'm curious. I'm so curious about this. And I kind of even like the brush. Because <laughs> the brush is really pretty, you know. <laughs> It's, I mean, it matches. <laughs> yeah, it might, it might be worth picking up. Yeah, you never know. But there's also some other items within this collection. There's like eye coals and the um, strobe face glazes, Fix Plus. There's some lipsticks, which do look very nice, but I don't know about those. But the palette, I am very interested in it gives me all these like fall vibes for sure Mm -hmm. like these not 70s more fall right more fall yeah so it's got some I don't know what those things are on it is that it squash it looks like fruit to me Okay. So I see a pomegranate on the package and I can't tell what else is in there. I think (laughs) is that a squash? (laughs) But anywho's, yeah, that that looks pretty cool to me. I'm quite interested. I really am. All right. And then from YSL, we've got another one of their big holiday palettes and a bunch of lipsticks and this really pretty gold packaging. Yeah, holiday 2021 from YSL. And the packaging's really pretty. I mean, I think it's very holiday appropriate. Um, the packaging to me is more appealing than the actual color of the pa- like the inside of the palette color. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just kind of over pink personally. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's why it just doesn't appeal to me personally, but it's very pretty. It is very pretty. And then Makeup by Mario is coming out with some stuff. I think this was the 27th also, I think, right? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Yeah, he's got, it looks like some brow products here. So very curious about this. Yeah, it's $22 for that brow pencil, Lexi. And it like clicks up and down. Do you (laughs) see that? I like it when they click up and also down. I can't stand it when they only click up. (laughs) 
No, you're like, it's so not functional, guys. <laughs> so yeah, August 27th, you're right, Lexi. All right, and then uh, what's coming from Dior? Ooh, did you see Holiday from Dior? I did, I have to say, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Okay. So we've been seeing these, these, uh, quints for a while, right? Right. I didn't Here's, realize they were holiday. I thought they were separate. <laughs> I thought so too, but I am quite interested in them because they, I'm curious to how they compare to like poncho. Like this one reminds you new look or poncho or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Very, um, interested I'm not interested in the lipsticks guys. I last year was rough from a lipstick perspective from Dior. I kind of got a little tarnished <laughs> with the lipstick situation, but I am curious about, I am curious about the, the quince. All right. And then we have something that just came out as well, right? From Lawless. Yeah. So did, did y'all see that Lawless dropped a new foundation? Just random. I don't like, I didn't even know this had come out. I had no idea either. It looks it to be pretty full to coverage. Oh, well, we'll have to see how it is. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Just a few clubhouse notes. Last night, we went over holiday releases on Clubhouse. And as you see, we touched on some of those here today. It was a great event. Don't forget to check out the top five on atlb.lux if you missed it. And tomorrow night on Clubhouse, we have a special event. What is it, Jen? Ooh, it's our book club. So we do have some discussion topics, points of discussion, questions, things like that on atlb.luxe if you'd like to check those out. But yeah, we're, we're going to have book club and the book that we are discussing is The French Beauty Solution by Mathilde Thomas. She is the founder of Codely. And I'm excited because it's you know, even if you didn't read the book, you really to join the conversation. You really don't have to have read the book. I mean, we're talking really high level here. So if you haven't read the book, it's totally fine. Come. Right. Yeah. Have just fun. Come. And we'll also be introducing which book won the poll for the next book club for September. So definitely tune in to find out what the winner was. We'll also have it posted uh, later on. But uh, if you haven't gotten a chance to vote yet, we will have that poll up today. So take a look at the ATLB Instagram stories. So yeah. you can vote and make your vote count. Pick the one that you are most interested in reading. And thank you all so much for coming. We hope you had a great Wednesday. We'd love to know what you guys think of these holiday releases. Which items are you interested in? Which ones? Uh, not so much. So please share down below in the comments. And we will see you on, well, we'll see you in Clubhouse tomorrow for Book Club. And then we'll see you on Friday right back here for another episode of Blush Up and Brush Up. Thank you and bye. Bye.